You know, over the years, we've grown oregano and thyme in our garden. Well, that one grows and so I, well. The difference in a fresh herb and a, nothing against stores, but store-bought dried right. herbs and right. containers, it's the amazing. fresh are just delicious. Well, speaking really, of oregano, really let's are. talk about that. We're going to do a nutrient spotlight today on oregano, and we'll start with the history. <clears throat> you know, oregano, we think of pizza and spaghetti, and mm -hmm. of course, it's a delicious addition to those dishes. But oregano has been used for a very long time, and it has medicinal properties. Oregano, the scientists call oregano organum vulgari. Organum vulgari. Uh, the common names used for oregano include mountain mint and winter sweet. Mountain mm. mint and winter sweet. The word oregano is a Greek word, and we take that from the origins oros, meaning mountain, oros, oregano, and ganos, meaning joy. Put that together, oregano means mountain joy. Interesting. That's pretty cool, isn't it? it? I is. love that. Uh, in more modern times, the uh, origins of uh, oregano can be traced back to France. We have writings of it back into the Middle Ages. The habitat of oregano, in other words, where does it grow naturally, mm -hmm. includes all throughout Asia, Europe, North Africa, but today it's cultivated worldwide because it's such a popular spice. Now, here's something I didn't know until we researched this. Oregano use in the United States was actually quite rare until after World War II when the GIs brought this beautiful Italian and French spice home with them from the war. And now it's everywhere. Really? World in the War United. II. Yes. I thought it, I thought it had it been much. around always. Well, it has, but not here. Yeah. Not here. World War II vets brought it back with them from the war. Well, well, I think we all know how wonderful it is in our dishes, but did you know it's a medicinal herb, too? How it could has, that be? It, well, it has powerful uses. Now, when we talk about oregano as a healing herb, we're really talking mostly about the oils of the plant, expressed out of the plant. When we go through the process to collect these oils, the herbologists who do this type of thing, they pick the herb when it's at its peak flower. That's when those oils are the richest and highest content. They press the oil out of the herb, and that's the medicinal part. Well, can you get the same benefit from eating the fresh leaf, or absolutely. do you have to extract it? No, no, there's absolutely benefit from the So when you break it down herb. intestinally, yes. you actually can yes. get that same oil. Yes. Good. But if we're going to really use it as a medicinal herb, it's, it's the oil right. is uh, really where it's at. Not okay. only we have the antioxidant properties we learned mm -hmm. about in the news today, but in the oil is a component called carvacrol. Carvacrol. And this stuff is responsible for the medicinal qualities. Here's the thing with oil of oregano. It is nature's antibiotic. It has been shown in laboratory studies to be effective against E. coli. Now, what is E. coli? Food poisoning, mm -hmm. bladder and kidney infections. Any of you people who've had trouble with this, oil of oregano could be helpful to you. Streptococcus. What does that cause? Sore throats and pneumonia can be very helpful for sore throats. Salmonella, what's that do? Food poisoning. Mm -hmm. Oil of oregano is effective for food poisoning. It's amazing. Staphylococcus, you know, the boils that people get on their skin, this type of thing, post-operative infections, the oil of oregano has been proven to be effective for this. Now, where we have found it to be just outstanding in the clinic is its ability to fight yeast, candida, and fungi. Mm -hmm. In fact, the oil of oregano is as good as nystatin, our old standard as as prescription nystatin. drug for yeast and candida. Interesting. Uh, so uh, other studies have shown, Dr. Millick and Millick report that the rosemaric acid content of the oil of oregano is an effective cancer fighter. Now, we're not saying that you abandon everything but oil of oregano in your fight of cancer, but use it as a spice and as an oil in your battle with cancer. Very effective. The antioxidant properties we talked about in our news today, 42 times as powerful as an apple. As now, an apple. An apple weighs several oh. ounces, and we're mm -hmm. not eating ounces of oregano, but it gives you an idea. Even a dash of oregano on that portobello burger is a good thing. So just the amount that we put thing. on each burger was enough to Very actually effective. make a difference. Make a difference. Absolutely. Good. It even has antiparasitic activities, this oil of oregano. There was a study we found that revealed a group of people who were infected with common parasites, they listed them in the study, and after a six-week course of oregano, 80% of them were parasite-free. Isn't that amazing? So no wonder this herb has endured for hundreds of years. Not only does it taste good, but it has health benefits as well.
what about any interactions? Because I know any time we try an herb or a supplement, we have to stop and say, wait a minute, what about some interactions with maybe some medicines I'm taking or other supplements I might be on? Well, I like your thinking because safety is our first concern. We don't want to recommend things that are dangerous to use and certainly things that have endured hundreds of years of use uh, uh, that's a statement as to their safety. Here's the thing with oregano, there's no known drug interactions, there's no known precautions, no contraindications. In other words, any condition you have, as far as we know, oregano can be taken with it. Great. Isn't that amazing? Well, how would we take it? Well, uh, there's several ways to do it. You can use the whole herb, that's one way, but most people, let's say if you're battling the yeast problem, right. You would take the oil of oregano, five to ten drops, in water. If you put it right on your mouth, it's very volatile. Okay. So five to ten drops in a glass of water twice a day. Okay. And there are preparations available that combine the extract of the plant with the oil. That's our favorite, so you get the benefit of the oil and, and the, plant the plant fiber, too. Because okay. it does contain medicinal properties. Uh, let's see, that type of preparation, Gaia Herb is an excellent one. These are 230 milligram capsules. One of those caps twice a day will do the job Good. for most people. Wonderful. And we have that at Bio Innovations. What have we learned today? Absolutely. Bio Innovations carries this oil of oregano, the leaf of the oregano, a common spice, delicious, wonderful medicinal properties as well. And it goes.